Hello and welcome to BW London podcast. So this video has come about about AI and robots in a, I didn't really investigate it. It really started when I saw um, Michael Jackson before his concert on that stand. Now, I wasn't aware that I was actually meant to be Michael Jackson. I just thought it was like a, a mannequin imitation or just something else. But then I <laughs> realised later it was actually meant to be Michael. And I thought, well, who are you fooling? And I remember in that moment thinking, my God, they must have progressed to AI and artificial intelligence and robots. They, they must have done. And I am a Christian and it doesn't seem non-biblical to me because in Revelation, there's a series of stuff on the earth that makes no sense. But I'm living in a time when that stuff is making more sense because I do believe these things are happening. So that video was like my first thought like oh okay i think they are actually doing that because there's no way that's you can't convince me that that was michael nothing you can do really so this is the next man that i was like oh so if they're doing it maybe this is zuckerberg guy mark yeah maybe mark really is because when i look at him he looks unnatural he looks like a robot and it would make sense that him and elon musk with his serial number child name that they're all just bloody artificial intelligence but i don't actually think that of elon musk because i don't get that vibration when i look at him like an unnatural person but i do get that from him and so my son this, this is what was interesting so i said to my son oh he mentioned Eminem and I was like, well, how on earth do you know Eminem? And then he said, oh, he still does music now. And I said, he does. So he showed me a picture, which was more or less a picture like this. And I said, oh, um, that's not Eminem. And he said, it is. And um, so I was like, well, but this looks like another artificial intelligent person. So there's three in my mind and possibly the serial um, name baby, the baby with the numbers like AR23 or something. So I was like, OK, so... I don't believe that that is Eminem. To then learn that that is already on the grapevine, something that people are talking about, that blew my mind. Because that, that is the thing about truth within the Illuminati. The truth is always out there. It's literally a part of their magic and their rituals. It's important that what they are actually doing is not only seen and demonstrated, but that it's actually called out. But it will never be believed and never manifest. But that is part of the ritual. If it's not said out loud and shown in plain sight, it doesn't work, basically. And um, I heard it was Black Balloon, because I really enjoy his channel. And he said, he made a comment. And I thought, yeah, I like that. He said that, you know, especially if you're Christian, um, it's funny how the devil and his people, especially those at the layers of the top, they know the Bible so well. And that was made clear in the bible when jesus went and um done his fast the 40 day fast it was well, that's what was made clear that the, the devil knows the bible that deeply and black balloons um that's a youtuber his point was we need to know um satanism just the same now i don't agree with that fully but these ritualistic things it is important to be able to recognize the patterns and it just gets so obvious the more and more you see it so when i type in eminem to do this video I keep getting these two coming up. I'm like, no. I was literally like, no way. So they keep the AIs together. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. How do these two guys match? I saw loads of pictures of them. I think I've only used two. Yeah, but I saw loads. But anyway, it turns out that apparently um, Eminem done a robotic song or something for AI. See what I mean? Consistent with the theme. Apparently, um, yeah, some kind of artificial intelligent rap thing that he's worked on with... Mark Zuckerberg, it can't be more plain sight than that. It's outrageous. So when I told my son what I told him, I said, so what are his latest songs? And he told me about Rap God. And believe it or not, I hadn't heard it until maybe, I think it's about two months ago now. And um, I said to him, more than likely, whatever is the big song, it's going to let us know he is a robot. Well, I, be, I couldn't believe it. I was like, the blatantness. It's outrageous. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've got another picture here of fake Michael. He looks like something in Madden Tomb Source. Like, people stop, just stop. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about the Rap God video. And what's really clear to me is it wants to differentiate between Satan and the actual, I'm going to call it the Antichrist, the person that comes and makes these AI robots, the person that is going to give them eternal life and immortality. They must be differentiated. So um, you'll see that later on in the video, how that's made clear. But um, 
So the video talk starts with actually talking to somebody else, which I don't believe to be Satan, more like one of his followers, his demon, maybe human form, maybe not, who knows. But um, look, I was going to go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings, that's him being spoken to by the dark, but I'm only going to get this one chance, something wrong, I can feel it. And then you keep hearing this six minutes being repeated over and over, which... I don't know if we can, again, can we be any more blatant about the ritualistic nature of this and the importance of the number six? Um, the video has a lot of written text in it that serves r real meaning and a lot of art imagery and stuff that makes no sense with the theme of the video, but it does if you understand it as a ritual. So this particular um, text, I couldn't pick up all of it, but God was bold um, I'm just going to read it as I see it. Ned A. King. I typed that into several different search engines and every time Daniel 8, 23 came up, which talks about the coming of the person, the Antichrist, the one who represents Satan and will change the world and show them magic and, you know, just lead people more into the dark. This video is actually all about that. I also think it's about him making people immortal through artificial intelligence, cloning and things like that. So, um, yeah, this scripture, Daniel 8, 23, in King James, it's, and in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to, come to their fall, those are the evil people of this earth, a king of fierce continents, because he needs to, needed to be conjured up as a result of um, all of the evil and stuff in the world and the stuff that's going on right now in the world this right here it feels ritualistic those of us in the western worlds we are not even seeing the brunt of what this vaccine covid what is happening in other places in the world my son showed me places in the world where people who have refused the vaccine are already being put into little communities that are not allowed to leave those are european countries as well but um, yeah to get back to this verse in another um, bible version and in the latter time of their kingdom when the transgressors are come to the fore that's again the demonic people of the earth the humans that a king of fierce continents will be basically conjured up and an understanding of dark sentences shall stand up i believe that he's already here um i believe that because artificial intelligence has already happened i've identified three that i'm good confident about but i'm sure there's more um i'll read one more version amplified at the latter period of their reign when the transgressors have finished evil people of the world, a king will arise insolent and skilled in intrigue and cunning. Fascinating that that's the scripture that comes up, but well, it's not fascinating. Like I said, they're very consistent and very much put things into plain sight. Their theme is do what thy will. Um, Satan, Satan is, Satan is, I mean. So yeah, like I said, there's lots of scriptures that I couldn't really pick up with, though I seem to kind of see this one a little bit more right now. I feel like if he sees, nah. And I'm not sure. Um, so, like I said, consistent with him becoming a robot, what we see th throughout this video is downloading information into Eminem about his life, because obviously he's going to need it as an avatar, whatever he is now. So that information is being downloaded, and, it, the, you know, the lyrics reflect that as well. It also, well, let's read this. You're witnessing a massacre like you're watching a church gathering take place. That is their ritualistic church. I've spoken about it in many other videos that, oh, well, specifically the Meghan Markle one on the Ellen show, that when they sh that their literal rituals do emulate the Catholic church, but in a dark side. So, you know, whereas they drink blood, they might drink, I don't know, semen. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's just like a mockery of that particular um, sermon. So, um, yeah, like you're watching a church gathering take place. Looking boy, oh, they, the boy's gay. That's all they say, looking boy. You get thumbs up, pat on the back. And so this is all the information being downloaded of, of him and his character. Um, and the way to go from the label every day, looking boy. Hey, looking boy, what you say, looking boy. I get a hell yeah from dre looking boy i'm worked for everything i have never ask nobody for shit get out of my face looking boy basically boy you're never going to be capable of keeping up with the same place looking boy because and i can imagine what he went through <laughs> in the beginning so yeah his um avatar gets a nice good download of who eminem is so he can be the older eminem and the immortal eminem the om omniscient godlike devil godlike Eminem, low case G. 
so um they say i'm the rap they said i rap like a robot so i'm called a rap bot this is literal this is actually literal but for me to rap like a computer which he is it must be in my jeans i got a laptop in my back pocket my pen will go off when i half cock it i got a fat knot from that rap profit now this subliminal line well it's everything I got a fat knot that I identified that immediately. That's magical and spiritual and witchcraft from the rap prophet. Obviously, they're talking prophet, P-R-O-P-H-E-T. So I believe I have to jump forward a little bit um, to this one. So a witch's ladder, also known as rope and feathers. Witch's ladder, witch's ladder or witch ladder is a practice in folk magic or witchcraft that is made from the knotted cord or hair that normally constitutes a spell. Charms are knotted or braided with specific mag- magical intention into the cords. So that's definitely the magical ritual that we're, where he's, he's speaking about. Um, let me just go back to it. When he speaks about got a fat knot, from that rap prophet that's exactly what that is so um yeah we continue to see um information of his life when he was popular bill clinton excellent rapping excellent i can't lie but you know i've said this before any humans are really not as genius as they think they are great things what what i mean by great is grandiose things are normally literally downloaded from god or the devil and these people at the top literally communicate with the devil and that's how they're able to have this type of creativity and music excellent that actually brings subliminal messages and changes a whole generation. So, um, yeah, lyrically it's phenomenal. So, yeah, he continues to download his information of his life into his robot avatar. Um, they're very blatant about this, as they always are. And made a living and at this point you hear the dark devilly voice and a killing <laughs> how blatant can it be straight after the rap prophet comment off it literal and then we've got ever since bill clinton was still in office with monica Lewinsky, blah 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 just more downloading of his information but at the end but as rude and as as indecent as all hell syllables skillaholic and at this point kill them all with that's when it goes into the dark demon voice again the dark demon voice in this is so relevant it's phenomenal they're really tactful with it as they are with all their videos i i I can't believe how many videos reveal like pedophilia and stuff like that it's really obvious when you can see it but um that one yeah the darkness speaks at that point now this part here i i think i saw something when i was doing a little bit of research that He described this as his love for comics and blah, blah, blah. It's none of that. This is all astral projection. Because once you've done the sacrifice or you bring your sacrifice, it always ends with astral projection. It always ends with going through a portal and meeting the dark side. Now, in this regard, it's a little bit deeper because you're literally using, you're creating immortality. But outside of this new coming of this Antichrist who is giving them this new life, because that's what I believe is happening, outside of that, that's always been a standard part of the ritual. So I believe that's what this section is about. It's about the astral projection, astral projection and going over to the other side. And we start to see lots of freeze now, which is the sacrifice they sacrifice in freeze standardly and they represent that with the number three or the number 12 however they do it so moving forward um right so we see more about the astro projection and going on to the other side super relevant and the colors in this are so consistent black white and red is the devil's color black and white for the duality do what i will good and evil do as you feel and the blood is a sacrifice that is needed to be made to the devil to live that way um and to live that way in what they think is harmony so um we see this astro projection coming in towards the end and then he's clear clear plain sight i'm the walking dead but i'm just a talking head a zombie floating but i okay we'll leave that bit now the imageries in this i mean they're not consistent with the theme of the video if you don't know but the seconds that they flash in they flash the subliminals that 
they flash in less than it's something like 0 0.3 it's not even a full second so you could easily miss it now after the astro projection just like you see in astro world there's always this representation you know how um help um trying to reach up to heaven and being blocked by darkness because you've now given your soul. This is your soul. You are not going to heaven. The the, the devil is here to c collect you. And that is the... I, I always used to say in these um, videos, um, conspiracy videos, that the, um, it's not their life to take. It's not. It was never their life to choose, and therefore they can turn back to Jesus any time. Not true. It says the one, there's only one sin that God doesn't forgive, and that is the... Um, giving up the Holy Spirit and, and, and selling your soul because that is what they do when they do this. They have to denounce the Holy Spirit and that is the one sin. It's a big one. So like I said, these kind of imageries are throughout. We, this image is literally hell's mouth as in what we, saw with, what we see with the Kardashian curse, um, what we see with the Kardashian ritual, sorry, at Astro World. It's all about getting people into a place but most importantly, you're trying to get hold of God's angels and bring them to hell. That's what, who these two people are. And you try to get as many souls as you can. That's what that's all about. From, you try to get them away from the light. Um, this is another video. Like, Look at this imagery. Look at it. It's in the rap, the rap God video. <laughs> Look at it. But anyway, this image is about the Virgin and the sacrificing of virgins, which he brings up in his lyrics very blatantly. This is all part of the ritual. And the spider has very significant meaning. The spider in this ritual, spiritually, spiders show us the importance of birth, growth, death, and rebirth, spinning a web of evolution and spiritual transformation, which is what they are doing. They sacrifice the virgin, they're astro-projecting. But this is a bigger life because it's all mortality through artificial intelligence. They represent the beautiful and inspiring part of creativity, hence why we're seeing this in the music realm, but also the need to clean out the cobwebs and keep moving forward. <laughs> okay, so this right here, again, less than a second clip. But, um, yeah, it's the duality, it's the inferno, Christ, the devil, good and evil. It's all about that battle, which is what this ritual is. Now, so I'm going to read this, but it's honestly futile if I don't utilise what I do, though for good at least, once in a while. <laughs> if you know anything about, again, say it's the Satanism and their rituals, they always end it this way they have to go out and do something powerfully good i speak about this in the megan markle ellen show interview that's why they end it on all this fundraising and good points and you know it's a standard practice you it's about the balance so as long as you do massively well and massively good stuff don't worry about a little bit of evil that you dabble in do what i will you know man 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 needs knowledge to everything and nothing is evil load of nonsense no discipline, no control of self. That's what that is. And God ain't in that. But anyway, um, uh, let me continue reading. So I want to make sure somewhere in this chicken scratch, I scribble and doodle -do 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 enough rhymes to make, <laughs> to maybe try to help get some people through tough times. This is all about, you know, like I said, showing your good at the end of your ritual and killing free people. This imagery, and you do see lots of flashing imageries which are representing this person who is not Satan, but is the Antichrist, the person who is giving them this new access to immortal life that could only be conjured up once human men, as it says in Daniel 8, once human men had got to enough transgressions. This is real, people. This is actually real. Probably a hard, but if it's hard to comprehend, it's just not, you know, not for the right ears. So this is just obvious stuff. Um, another one of the texts that came up, Rebel King, that's who that man represents, the one who's given him artificial life. He is the Rebel King, Antichrist. That I ain't as big as I was, but I'm morphing into an immortal, coming through the portal. You're stuck in time warp from 2004, though. I don't think I need to explain that. It's blatant. Hidden in plain sight. 
so yeah consistently throughout the video the three sacrifices come more towards the end once the astral projection and that the color theme is really consistent the black and white and so on the only time i saw a little bit of interference in fact before i say that this is so relevant because again this is that blatant hidden in plain sight you've morphed you're a mortal the two the two of you have been split only one is dead or who knows? I sometimes think that, you know, all the rumours where they're like, oh, this celebrity is alive, that celebrity is alive. And I'm like, mm, why, though? But then I thought, could you imagine at the, and in the elitist societies, they always want to show exclusive stuff and whatnot. Could you imagine if you don't actually put these people to death, you do keep them underground, like they said, and a very small niche of people get to see them? I mean, I am actually a businesswoman and I see the, I see the explosion in that. It's massive, but... You know, I can't confirm that. Moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, astro projection. Consistent black and white theme. You'll see red for sacrifice. These guys represent demons. Now, this is where the, the colour... Um, we get a lot more colour within the black and white theme, but I really believe that's because it's artificial intelligence because what you do see is a lot of concrete red to represent the actual theme of the sacrifice. And this sacrifice obviously has more meaning because it's, you know, a double person. It's an immortal person. Let's see how long these AIs, AIs last, eh? <laughs> I, love, I really like this lyric. But anyway, and I don't know what the... Mm, that, you are, that you rhyme for your pointless as Rapunzel with F cornrows. You write normal. F being normal. Certainly ain't that Eminem. And I just bought a new ray gun from the future i thought this was fascinating i thought this was fascinating because even though this was a story and something that happened an argument that he has with ray j and he mentions it here i literally see um ray j as like the undertaker he doesn't really do music or nothing anymore but he's still very much big in the illuminati world he's like their mule he brings them drugs i believe he took whitney houston to the other side has something to do with her daughter and he's definitely present in other places he's literally like the undertaker like the the, the reaper or something but yeah so he brings up ray j and although it's like a little interesting story i can't even bother to even read it but um i really think using ray j was about using the undertaker in the illuminati world who is often tasked with doing some of their dirty work right while i'm ripping any one of these s that versus you it's curtains I'm an inadvertently hurting you. How many verses I got a murder to prove that if you are half as nice, your songs, you could sacrifice virgins too. Which is a standard part of the ritual. And as you saw, we saw that with the spider virgin lady and what that represents, bringing on to the other side. But yeah, I just find the hidden in plain sight mind-blowing. And I see it all the time now, but it's just, wow. And it's just done so well. The marketing of it is like, uh, okay. Um, this is another one of the words that comes up. Anipotent. Um, we all know what that means. I'll read out the definition of a, of a deity having unlimited power. God is described as omnipotent and benevolent. So that is, you know, absolutely blasphemous. But that they've made it very clear in this whole video that there is this God who is given a mortal life. So he, therefore, in the opinion of Satanists, is just as um, important. Now, we see a lot of imagery. This one reminds me of Jesus when he's visited by Abraham and Moses. It could very well be that, but, you know, it, it also looks quite scary and scorny. If anyone's familiar with this art, I guess they could say what it actually is, but I'm pretty sure it's that. Um, such random images to have in such a video. We've got Moses here. This is all just blasphemy and it probably serves a, a much more specific meaning within the ritual um yeah some more stuff this looks like some kind of devilly stuff you know and it could just be the prevention of you can't get to the other side who knows but it's 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 a weird images to have in the video if you do not know anything about this stuff um, the lake of fire is mentioned and what's funny about this but to be honest most satanists are quite comfortable with the fact that they're giving up their soul depending on what degree they're at and what level they reach i mean half of these artists they're just pawns for the people who have a far deeper understanding of this and because satanism is about lies they're happy to confuse them and stuff but this is really blatant that you're going to the lake of fire you're going to hell 
for selling your soul to the devil like you belong to him and it even shows Eminem walking through the lake of fire it shows the literal lake of fire and here it says Satan spat as in Satan speaks and um it seemed really relevant to differentiate that this is Satan's words and not the man giving AI artificial intelligence they are differentiated in this video and straight after Satan speaks he rips it out plain sight I'm drunk so Satan take the effing will like wow I'm asleep in front in the front seat and this is the part where it's very clear don't mistake him for Satan it's a fatal mistake I bet if you think I need to be overseas and take a vacation to trip to trip abroad and make her fall on her face and don't be a retard, now that's relevant to the verse that was before. But this part, be a king, how it ends, think not. Why be a king when you can be a god? And that is an all god is promising these these um illuminati followers and satanists he is promising them a mortal life and the thing is i can only imagine how they do, they they drip feed this information and help them to believe and subliminals and until they're just you know pretty much i hate to say it but all right i won't say that but i'll say that raping animals and feeling okay about it like it's a natural thing because they 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 bring them in so smoothly and when i um i've got a video on it I don't have a video on it. The video that I have with China and her mum, Tokyo, because Tokyo is very much um, open about she knows her daughter's wrapped up in that Illuminati stuff and what it's done for her and the magical side of it and all of it. So magical is in literal magic, witchcraft. So um, in that video, you do hear... Um, she asks, they, they debate, what do you believe? I believe in, like, Christ. What do you believe, she says to um, China Doll. Is her name China Doll? Black China? Yeah, I got that wrong. Asian doll, that's Asian doll. But yeah, Black China. She says to her, um, oh, it, she made, you can hear her, it's about power and blah. She doesn't get to elaborate because her nutty mum cuts her off. But I'm like, yeah, I bet. They, it's about, you know, illumination and the mind. And, you know, it's just other people ain't as deep. And duh, 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 duh. you know how Satan makes humans feel like they're super smart. And in comparison to God's knowledge, they don't know anything. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I think, please... Could the real Slim Shady please stand up? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't, I don't believe that is Eminem. I don't, but um, AI looks like it's come a, it's come, it's come a long way, and um, yeah, who knows what the world has in store? All right, well, thank you so much for listening.